Hi, welcome to a new video. My name's Lee. Grab your water. Um, you don't necessarily need it in a water bottle, but you can just put it in a cup or whatever you want. A mug. I don't judge. Some people think it's weird when you drink out of a mug and it's not coffee or tea. I think mugs are for anything. This is like a month long of footage. This, this past month, James and I worked on turning my old studio room into my bedroom. If you don't know, I'm currently in a studio outside of my home, but I used to work out of a bedroom in my home. Um, so we did, we, did, we did some hard work in there. There's also just like a few tastes of studio life, but mostly flipping the room. You'll see when the video starts, but I just wanted to welcome you here, say hi, what's up, what's going on, hope you're well. Thank you for coming out tonight. Um, happy to have you here on this video, Choodle, Choodle. I don't know what word I was trying to say. I think I was trying to say channel and YouTube, but it turned into Choodle. <laughs> I'm excited to be done with this video because I feel like I've been filming it forever. So I hope you like it. Give it a thumbs up as a little pregame. Subscribe to my channel. Leave me a little comment um, before the video even starts. Like just write right uh how you're feeling today personally i'm feeling a little zooted because i just had coffee and i haven't had coffee in a while i feel like a race car driver so if i was you and i was commenting on this video i would say hey lee i feel like a race car driver happy to be at your video so um <laughs> vroom vroom so uh enjoy enjoy do you like how I'm wearing my water bottle cap as a double ring? <laughs> Welcome to our demo day. We are working on turning my old studio into my new bedroom. Since I've moved into my new studio, this room has sat empty waiting for some work to be done on it. The ceiling needed some adjusting, which we are doing here. And then I had the peeling paint wall, which you might remember, um, that needed to be touched up and make sure that no more leaking is happening there. You can see it there on the left. But here we are taking down the drop ceiling that the previous owners put in. And they put in a drop ceiling because the tan ceiling you can see in this shot is the original ceiling from like 1890. And it's plaster and it's started to bow in the middle. So it's sinking right in the middle. So like they didn't really have a choice unless they wanted to take the ceiling out. Us, on the other hand, we decided we were gonna take out their ceiling, their supports, and the original plaster ceiling so we could get that extra height in that room, which, to be quite honest, it was worth it. But the process of removing plaster is just very serious. As you can hear, it's like, it's like dropping rocks from the ceiling. It's not casual to load it into demo bags, carry it down the stairs, put it into a truck, drop it in a dumpster. This was really, really hard. Thank you, James, for doing most of the demoing. He's amazing. But what's really cool about the ceiling is that this room went right up to an unfinished part of the attic. And whatever was sitting on that ceiling since it was built in like 1890 came down. Whatever it was, it was like thick, sticky, black, dark, black dirt, dust. Um, pretty serious. So this is us cleaning it up before the people we hired to put the drywall ceiling came. Hi, it's July 30th. I am ordering the Patreon rewards for August. I chose to do my little collage, my collage piece from my last vlog, this one. Um, I kind of had to adjust it so it would fit on a five by seven. Like I cut off some of this 
digitally, um, so it would fit nicer, and I think it turned out really cute. I tried to keep some of the like collage feel with like the drop shadows behind it, even though I had to kind of take out the background because it's covered in glue and oil pastel. I designed the back of the postcard, which I think is really cute. I've been making them writable lately. My patrons kind of have expressed that they wanted the backs to be writable for a little bit. Not everyone, but some people. It's very simple for me to do. I kind of was against it because I wanted them to be more like mini prints than postcards, even though I called them postcards. But now they are writable for the past two months. They've been postcard sendable. I did a black and white design this month and I think it looks really crispy and nice. And then I ordered the Patreon sticker for August, which is the Tuffy Cat design I did last month. In July, they got the, the softy sticker, and then this month they're gonna get the toughy sticker, and it's like a set. Once I'm selling it in my shop, there'll be a set, so all my patrons already have it. But yeah, I'm, tr I'm trying to figure, finish things up because I'm going out of town again. I'm going to the beach with my family for a second time, and I'm gonna be there for a week, so I'm just trying to get things all closed up before I leave. I packed all of my Patreon secret shop orders, I put an out of the office announcement on my website. Um, I'm just gonna clean up and then probably go home to start packing and finishing things up, so. I don't feel like I need another break, but I am happy to be going regardless. So I will be back on the vlog when I return. I don't know if I'll take my camera or not. I'm still on the fence. So maybe there will be footage, maybe they won't. I would like to take this moment to thank our sponsor, Pila. Pila is reducing plastic pollution by offering us a compostable phone case option. I love my Pila cases. They have been releasing a lot of cute new designs and I love the solid colors as well. Pila cases are 100% compostable, so you can throw them in your backyard compost or into an industrial compost system. If you wanna get your own Pila case, you can use the code Lee or the link in my description to get 40% off your purchase. After the first 50 subscribers use the link, it will be 25% off. Thank you again, Pila, for sponsoring this video.
Elvis. Yeah, you see the chocolate on your lip? Uh-huh. You may remember my old studio. No, like a movie. What? You may remember. Go ahead. You, you, you do it. You do it. I can't do it. You may, what do you want to say? I don't know. I didn't think of it. Okay. Yeah. You may remember my old studio, right? Well, it's soon to become my bedroom. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I'm not on autofocus right now. I don't know. Anyways, we had a ceiling put in, a real one, here. Uh, before, we had some weird panels that were all broken apart. Are you shooting at Toby? Um, we're painting everything again. I'm trying to. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. We have to paint everything again because we ripped out this disgusting ceiling, and um, 100 plus year old dirt came out. I see that you want to be in it. <laughs> I'm still in it. I'm just touching my nose. Um, and everything turned black. So we painted the walls already and we had to paint the trim again and paint this new ceiling that's drywall. I got a new fan too. Wow, that's a beautiful fan. Uh, we only painted around the fan so we could put it up. But um, this is old studio. It's gonna be my bedroom and um, we're painting it. I'm feeling good. Thank you. If you want, it's got a little brush. You can say that again. Looking good. The windows even look nice because everything else is painted. We're done for the day. Does it feel bad to just like keep layering paint all over the house? No. No. Sometimes I feel kind of bad. Why? Like I'm adding to the already the only caked other option is to strip it all. Correct, which is not what we're gonna do. So. Yeah. You may have seen me painting the trim and thought, they didn't even try to clean that, but we did. It doesn't come off, it's permanent. Isn't it? I don't think anything. Perfect. Um, all we have left to do are the windows and some other coats on other stuff. So, see ya!
almost done. Kinda. Because then we're going to get primer and paint that. But it looks good in here. It looks really good. I think it looks better than it did. I think the walls look better though too. Smoother. Don't they? That's good. Don't change a thing, you are amazing. pretty close to done. We're gonna put another layer of oil on the floor. If you saw me cleaning the floor and you're like, why is she doing it like that? It's cause we have oiled floors so they have to be cleaned a certain way, especially with like that much dirt on them and grossness. So we're gonna put another layer of oil on the floor while the room's empty and then do some finishing touches like put the, the light switch plates and whatever else on. Um, and then I can move in here. I'm very excited because this room gets natural light and my other room does not. So once we're done with this room, I'll move in and then we'll move on and work on the next room because that one needs a ceiling too. So. Here's a little fit check for you. I never do fit checks on my videos, but I did one in this one. Um, but back to my new room, I'm moving in things from my old bedroom, which is just on the hallway, so really low key. Um, and I'm also bringing in my dresser because I'm gonna put a fresh coat of paint on it. My mom painted this dresser for me like last year, but my bird Hercules likes to sit on it because there's a mirror that sits on it and he just, you know, he really vibes with looking in the mirror. I'm happy for him, but I'm not happy for him because he likes to run along the edge of the, dr the dresser and just chew, chew on it and chip the paint off. So luckily I still have plenty of this paint to touch up this dresser repeatedly if I need to. The top needed a, quite a bit of rehab and honestly, I didn't think that this um, extra coat of paint would really make that big of a difference. I was just kind of like, I have the paint, I'm just gonna do it. It doesn't really bother me but it, uh, it looks so good. Um, I just forgot what it looked like to be very nicely painted. So I'm really happy I did that and it makes me feel really fresh in the new space and clean. So here I am putting my some clothes in my drawers, pretty riveting content. Um, and then I, I cocked on the mold wall on the peeling wall. The trim had kind of detached because of all the water damage, but I filmed it super poorly. You can barely see anything, but it, it was pretty satisfying for me in the moment. So that's cool for me.
We moved to the bed in today, meaning like I'm pretty much moved in. Anything that was left in my old bedroom is like more of a storage type thing because we were using my old bedroom as kind of storage because it is a really large room. But yeah, I moved in. I feel very fresh. Everything feels very smooth and airy because the old ceiling was dropped like six inches. So once we ripped that out, we got like literally six inches of height on the ceiling along with getting like a flat white clean looking ceiling, which just like makes it feel very different in here than before. Um, if you see my other like studio makeover video, we did paint the walls white March of last year ish. Yeah, March of last year. And it felt really fresh then. It felt really good, but this feels like kind of different. I don't know if it's like the extra coats of paint or just the ceiling or maybe like not all of my inventory and art stuff being in here, but it feels very clean and like manicured. Herc is in here if you hear him, him chiming in the back. He's having a day of it. I just brought him in here today and he is thrilled. He's been hanging on the windows and going everywhere. I think he really likes it in here already. If you didn't know, my old bedroom just didn't get any natural light and natural light for parrots is like very, very important. I haven't been in a room that has been like complete in a, in a while. Uh, my old bedroom, there's still like a crackling plaster ceiling on it and we've been using it for storage, like I said, for like all of our furniture and stuff we don't really have spots for since the room is big and I don't really use it. So it feels really nice to be in a space that's like complete. It was, it was very time consuming. I didn't expect for, I, I didn't expect to have to repaint everything, to be clear. Like I didn't know when we took down that plaster ceiling above what we had, that the black dirt was gonna fall and get on ab absolutely everything and never come off. So um, it was a little bit more work than I expected. Also just like the work in here kind of took a toll on the floor. So we had to redo the floors. Um, we put extra layer of oil on them and like scrubbed it out, which was stinky and um, a weird, it was weird. Um, if you have oil floors, let me know what you use to like touch it up or like maintain it. If you have any tips, let me know because I don't really know what to do with oil, oiled floors. I looked up some videos and literally everyone's like, do this, don't do this. And the next person's like, don't do that, do this. Don't do that, do this. So like, it's just like this, no one knows what they're doing kind of thing, in my opinion, from what I've learned. Um, so if you have oiled floors, let me know like, what you, what, what do you do? What do you do with them? How do you, any tips are appreciated. But I want to, um, I wanna get a desk for under my windows, kind of like I had my studio set up in here. I need to hang my curtains. I don't know what I'm gonna do on the mantle. I'm thinking maybe one of my bigger paintings. I'm kind of sick of the toady painting being above the mantle, so I wanna put up something different. And that's kind of all my plans for the room. Um, I'll slowly like change things and mold things into how they work for me and we'll see how it goes. I'm really not a, a speed decorator. I'm a very slow decorator. So like room makeovers are never like a completed thing. Like I can never show off like a completed room flip rehab makeover video, but I'm really happy with how it is now. It feels very clean and, and good, so. Cool. And thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. I wanna give a big shout out to my little puppy patrons because I wasn't able to do a lot of work while we were working on this project of a room. Like I just didn't have time to do any videos or posting or art making. So thank you so much patrons for supporting me while I was working on this stinky little room. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos. I don't know, I probably won't be doing another um, room makeover video for a little bit, but my vlogs are just like really, really, really good. Um, there's Zuko barking. Welcome back to my house. But I'll see you later, bye. So handsome.